is up guys? Today we're gonna to be talking about my favorite life skill farming. This is a mostly semi AFK life skill that can make you a ton of money by barely doing anything. For farming there can be a ton of extra stuff like humidity, temperature, location. We're not gonna worry about any of that stuff today. Today we're just gonna focus on how to level up that farming fast and get that money quick. In order to start farming you're gonna need fences so press control, click on the little magnifying glass right here and then type in Flaviano. Hit search and then click on its name. If you're looking at the whole map, it's going to take you to the north right here at Heidel. This is just south of Velia, which is right here. Just south of there is Heidel. Identify it by the light beam. You're going to see it right here, and then you're going to talk to him. If you've never talked to Flaviano, you won't have the location for him. So come to the north part of Heidel right here. You're going to come past the first little exit right there. You're going to pass the stable keeper. You're going to pass the two little exits right there. Keep going south. You're going to go past the marketplace vendor right here. Keep going north up this little pathway right here underneath the little towels. Come up to the horse statue, take a left, and then you'll see Flaviana right here. Each fence costs 10 contribution points. You can have a maximum of 10 fences, and since you want to get as much money as lazily as you can, you want to make sure you have all 10. My other fences right now are already planted, so I'm just going to go ahead and get one to show you guys how to do it. You're going to talk to this guy. We're going to hit chat and then hit rent strong fence. Grab that fence. we got to set him down to begin farming, so we're going to press map and then go north just west of Velia right here. Press T to auto path there. In order to really start banking from farming, you want to make sure you get to the artisan level. All life skills start at the beginner level and then they move up in rank. In order to get from beginner to artisan, we're going to level up the fastest possible way. So here's one of the crops that can do that. We're going to press escape and go into central market. We're going to type in purple. Click on special purple mushroom haifa. Click on that and we're going to buy 10 for each fence that we have. Buy those and then put them into your inventory. You can click the magnifying glass and go to marketplace to do that or transfer all of those mushroom haifas over to your inventory. There's a lot of different spots to farm we're gonna do it to the left of valley just north of Lagia farm so here's the spot I use It's right in front of this little cliff right here here are the fences in order to plant them we're gonna press I and then right click on the fence if you can't plant it it's gonna have a red circle but if you can it's gonna have a blue circle like it is here after we're done planting we're gonna go over to it and hit R and then we're gonna plant these by hitting the one key for a shortcut and then clicking and then space bar you want to do this as fast as possible to be more efficient since you're gonna be doing this often so one click space 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 once you reach your limit it's gonna say cannot place any more due to the installment limit press escape and space and then move on to the next crop to do more so again you can have up to 10 of these little fences and each one can have 10 crops your crops only grow while you're playing the game so at this point you want to transfer back to your main character and continue playing the game i suggest having a farming alt character so all you have to do is transfer back to that character to resume your farming remember your crops only grow while you are online it doesn't have to be on the farming alt character but you do have to be online so let's say you're playing the game and then you see this little icon over here blinking called the garden you're gonna left click on that sometimes these crops can grow at different rates so for example this one might be a 99% and this one a 110% these crops can grow at different rates but this icon will start blinking as soon as one crop is 100% once one crop is at 100% you can tend to that crop it's not worth it your time though unless all the crops that you have planted are at 100% it doesn't make any difference whether it's 200% or 150 or 100% as long as it's 100% or higher you can tend those crops you do not get any more loot or money or anything like that if it's higher than 100% just as soon as it's 100% you can go back to it. So let's say I'm on my main character and I check on these here and then I see that they're past 100%. You hop back over to your farming lot and then you come up to them and you can press the plant breeding button. Your keys are designated to each character. To make it easier farming you want to make sure you can have that plant breeding button as something you can access very quickly. So this is totally optional but to hit this plant breeding button even faster I'll hit escape and then go into settings. Go into interface settings and then hit action hotkeys. We're going to scroll down to interaction 1 and I'm going to set mine to the mouse function 2 button which is my side mouse button. This this makes it super easy to click but you can press any button that you like that's super easy to click for you hit apply and then confirm and then go up to every single crop and press that button press R to get those mushrooms back you're gonna get more mushrooms than you planted as you're farming you're gonna get some random other stuff too make sure you save all of the extra stuff that you get with all the extra mushrooms we can get we can keep planting without buying more and then sell the extra into the market keep breeding replanting and then planting new mushrooms again over and over and over again to get as much farming experience as you can get as fast as you can if you press P you can go into your my information click on the life info and then you can see your farming experience down here if you're just starting out you're going to be a beginner again we want to get to at least artisan one so you're going to have to get from beginner to apprentice skilled professional and then artisan as soon as we hit artisan you're going to switch the crops that you use and then start banking at that point type in dry main into the marketplace and then click on the special dry main grass seed click on that and then do the same thing buy 10 for each crop do the exact same thing but now we're going to do it with the special dry main grass seeds you'll be able to plant 10 of these at a time for each crop just like you did with the purple mushrooms do the exact 
exact same thing and hit plant breeding. At this point, we're looking for a special magical crop that can proc. Most of the time, though, we're going to be getting these special dry mane grass seeds. Eventually, you're going to get something special called the magical dry mane grass seed. These are insanely awesome. Again, here are the regular ones, and then here are the ones that you want. These are random, so just keep farming and rebreeding these until you get one of these. All you need are one of them. These are a little different. You can only plant two of these at a time, and then come back to these when they're 100% or higher. We're going to hit that plant breeding button over and over for these as well. But now, since you planted these, you are only going to get these magical dry mane grass seeds. So you're going to vendor these for a lot of money each. So from here on out, only plant and breed these. Eventually, uh, one or few magical dry mane grass seed will become enough to where you can plant your entire crops with just those. You'll keep getting extra and you vendor that surplus to the vendor. Along the way, you'll be creating stone tail fodder by combining these ingredients right here that you've been saving. To do that, we're going to press L and then go into the processing tab and go into simple cooking. We're going to combine any two of these ingredients. Combine two of the highest numbers. So we're going to press these and then press start. And now we're making stone tail fodder, which is worth a lot of money. Of course, there's a ton of different life skill buffs that you can use to level up your farming even faster. But at the very least, get some plus two silver embroidered farmer's clothes from the marketplace. This will level up your farming experience much faster. I would also definitely get seafood cromwell since they last you a while. There's too many buffs to mention for life scaling. So I'll add a list of those down below. But at least get the farmer's clothes and the seafood cromwells. When your inventory is full or you're ready to cash in that sweet loot, come back to Valley here just by the central marketplace. We're going to go to this vendor right here. Tran and Underfo is his name. We're going to hit on shop and then we're going to vendor all this magical dry grass main seed. The money from that adds up super quickly. Then we're going to head back over to the central marketplace vendor. Then we're going to press L, processing, go back to simple cooking, and we're going to process the rest of these ingredients. You need 20 of two different types of byproduct to create that stone tail fodder. So as you can see, I can't make any more. Just save it for next time. Talk to the marketplace vendor, go to central market, manage warehouse, and put in that sweet, sweet stone tail fodder. Go into sell, stone tail fodder, and then profit, baby. It only takes a couple minutes to tend to your farm once or twice a day, and that's it. Once in a while, you'll see a mole speed pop up in the item list. Make sure you collect those, and then watch out for the beam of light. You'll kill that mole right there, and then you'll get a spirit pouch of ferocious beast. This life skill is insanely easy. Again, all you'll be doing is selling the magical dry mane grass seeds to the vendor, processing some byproducts into stone tail fodder, and just tending to crops once or twice a day. This is an awesome way to make some passive income, super easy to do, and it's actually pretty addicting and fun as well. Again, it will take a little bit before you can start seeing some major profit by getting to artists on one first, but just be patient, keep farming, and you'll be making that money. Guys, thank you so much for checking my videos today. I really appreciate it. Please smash that like button if you haven't already, and don't forget to subscribe. That would be awesome. Definitely go follow me at twitch.tv slash it's pragma. Let's hang out, and don't forget, farm harder, baby. Let's go!